Hello guys, this is Indian Medico and in this video, we are going to see about nasal septal hematoma. This is a concise presentation for medical students. Nasal septum is the structure in the nose that separates the nasal cavity into two nostrils. Hematoma is defined as a solid swelling of clotted blood within the tissues. Thus, nasal septal hematoma is collection of blood under mucoperichondrium or mucoperiosteum of the nasal septum. Now let us see about the etiology of nasal septal hematoma. Nasal trauma, septal surgery and bleeding disorders are the most important causes of this condition. Now let us see about the symptoms of septal hematoma. Bilateral nasal obstruction, frontal headache and sense of pressure over the nasal bridge are the chief symptoms of this condition. On examination, nasal septal hematoma appears as smooth rounded swelling of the septum in both the nasal fossae. On palpation, this mass is soft and fluctuant. This picture shows a baby with nasal septal hematoma. What are the complications of nasal septal hematoma? If nasal septal hematoma is not treated properly, it can lead to permanently thickened septum, septal abscess, saddle deformity and most importantly, avascular necrosis of septal hyaline cartilage. Nasal septal hematoma can lead to avascular necrosis of septal hyaline cartilage because the septal cartilage has no blood supply of its own and it receives its nutrients and oxygen from perichondrium. Thus, if blood is accumulated between the cartilage and perichondrium, it is not possible for the transfer of nutrients and oxygen to the cartilage and thus necrosis results. How do you treat a case of nasal septal hematoma? Small hematomas can be aspirated with a white bore sterile needle. Large hematomas require incision and drainage. The incision is a small anteroposterior incision given parallel to the nasal floor. For better drainage, excision of a small piece of mucosa from the edge of incision is necessary. The nose is packed to prevent reaccumulation. Systemic antibiotics are also given to the patient. Thank you.